Here we have a new 2023 Chevrolet Blazer Premier. And this refreshed blazer comes in the beautiful iridescent pearl tri coat. And then our interior consists of the maple sugar and jet black perforated leather. The powertrain is a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine made it with a nine speed automatic transmission. So coming around to the front here, just a slight, slight refresh, but it does make a big difference. You can tell when you look at it, it's a lot sleeker. Looks like something that came out of Transformers, but I love, absolutely love how they did the black gloss and chrome trim there. And you've got that kind of metal gray down there at the bottom. Looks really, really good. And then this has the optional 21 inch wheels, which are actually really stunning. I love how they have the gray right here and you have the aluminum brush and then you have that bronze on the outside. It's a really cool looking wheel. Now we get passive keyless entry on all four doors with this Blazer Premier. And then here we have our controls for power door locks, memory seats, Power windows with one touch auto up and down for the driver's side. Power mirror controls there. And then we have our power lift gate controls here. Three fourths of the way, max, we can turn it all the way off. And then to activate, we just hit that button. Premium Bose sound system. Electronic parking brake. Headlamp controls. And there's our power driver's seat with power lumbar support. And I love how they accent, as you can see, you have mostly the maple sugar on the seating, but then you have it a little bit on the door trim and then it's paired with the black on the dash. And you even have the brown stitching there with that bronze. This is just a great, great looking finish here. Let's check out this window sticker. So this vehicle stickers for 52,135. Slowly go through the options there. And then here we have all the standard features that come on a Premiere. Let's check out the rear seat leg room next. So pretty good leg room back here. I am 6'3 and I have the seat in front of me adjusted for my driving position and my knees aren't even touching the back of the seat just have a little bit of space in between them and the back there but very impressed then we have pockets on either side and then we have our rear ac vents there usb c usb a charging port and then a 120 volt three prong household plug in there and then you can't see if there's a little bit of storage down there it'd actually be a good hiding spot for somebody wants to leave their Game Boy or something in the back seat. And then here's our heated seat toggle for the back there on either door panel. And I like that we have our bars everywhere except the driver's side and then we have our LED dome light and you just hit that there to turn them on and off. And there's a quick peek at the panoramic sunroof which we'll test out here momentarily. And there's our center seat with cup holders there. And I just love this. I can't say enough about this finish because like even the strap here, just that kind of bronze look there, really, really slick. I really like that. Well, let's check out the back and the cargo space next. And then this should take just regular gasoline here Just click that in and out. Now, one of my favorite things about the refresh for 23 are these tail lights having the LED kind of halo look to them. It looks really, really good. They look like aftermarket Camaro tail lights, and I just really, really like that. There's our dual exhaust, that button down there. And there's a view of the cargo space. And then we can fold down either side just by pulling that there. Spare tire. 
And I like that you have these pockets on either side for stuff that you don't want to slide around. And then to fold the seat back up, all you have to do is pull up on it. And it is pretty difficult, but with both hands, it's not that bad. And I just, I've been admiring just this kind of two-tone look here, how the gray goes all the way around. Just looks really, really good. And there we have our power front passenger seat. Now I like the subtleties of just, I don't know what that is, I have to look it up, but you have it all throughout, just in random spots of the trim. Pretty cool. I just really like, if I were to get a blazer, it would be just like this. I really love just the detail they put into this, inside and out. But we're gonna take a quick look in the engine bay. And there's a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 there. Pull the top in the driver's seat. So leather wrap steering wheel there. And this kind of carried over from the older blazers, but we have power tilt and telescoping functionality there. And then we also have heated steering wheel. Let's go over to this new screen here. For 2023, you're able to get this option of the 10.2 inch screen. So we have AM, FM, XM radio, along with Bluetooth audio. We have wireless Apple CarPlay and then Android Auto as well. And there's the navigation system. But having this bigger screen really does help, kind of like it did in the Yukons and Tahoes when they redid those in 21. Just a really, really nice look there. And then I like that you can pull up the dual zone automatic climate controls on the screen. And pretty quick to respond. And then we have our backup camera there. And then we have a trailering and then a tow view there. But there's our glove box button, traction control, auto stop. We can toggle that and then the hazards there. And then for the dual zone automatic climate control, we also have those controls here along with three stage heated and cooled seats for the driver and front passenger. We can adjust fan speed there toggle the whole system off and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You can just turn these for the temperature settings. But we have a USB-C, USB-A input there, wireless charging pad. And then for our shifter, you just hit this button behind here, reverse, neutral drive, low mode. And then from low mode, you can actually just toggle the shifts there. And then we have our parking sensors and lane departure controls there. Now with this being an all wheel drive, we have several modes which I really like in these blazers. So you have your standard two wheel drive and then you have your all wheel drive there. And then you have your sport mode there. And we have our off road mode. And finally we have our tow haul mode. So really nice. And I like to be able to just set it back by turning to the right again. I thought I had to go back, but I'm glad they did that because that would get pretty tiresome. But there we have our two more USB inputs, a USB-C and a USB-A. And then the SD card reader is there for the navigation system. And then we have a 12 volt down there as well. Now to this power panoramic sunroof here, we can one touch tilt. and then slide that all the way back. This really, really impressive space there. And we can close it back as well, no problem. 
And the controls for all that is here. The actual sunroof and the power shade there. Universal home remote. We can put our sunglasses in here. And there's a quick look at the back seat from up here. Glove box with owner's manuals. And then to the steering wheel controls, we have our cruise controls here, forward collision, gap adjust there, that heated steering wheel I was talking about, we can toggle that. Voice recognition controls here, and then here we can go through our gauge cluster by using the scroll bar and then these two arrows. And behind the steering wheel on the left side, we can control our radio station favorites or track list controls. And then on the right side, we can control our volume. And blinkers, automatic high beams, windshield wiper controls, push button start. And finally, our key fob with remote start. But next is time we go ahead and take this 23 Blazer Premier all-wheel drive out on the road for a quick test drive. So the 3.6 is just a pretty standard V6 engine compared to the competition. But in these Blazers, they really do give it much more power over the 2.5 liter that they used to have that um, naturally aspirated four cylinder and then even the two liter turbo four cylinder that's offered now. Me personally, I like the turbo better, but I think the V6 is superior in terms of all of the numbers. I just like the feel of a turbo personally. Let's put this into all-wheel drive mode in sport and see how it does. Really good pull. And I can tell when it's pulling from the front wheels when it's pulling from all four because there's just a slight kind of, it's hard to explain. Like I'm being pulled from different sides. but really impressive. Now the transmission in the sport mode is just a little hesitant, but when it finds that shift point, finally it's, it's gone, it's off to the races. But when I'm not trying to give it throttle, it's actually a really smooth ride, even on these 21 inch wheels. and pretty good fuel economy. And overall, like I said, ride quality is good. And then cabin interior is pretty quiet as well.
and yeah, the transmission just shifts seamlessly in tour mode. We're just 99% of the time how you'll be driving this anyway, if not 100%. So you won't have those harsh shifts that you get in the sport mode. But just under normal driving conditions, really, really nice ride. And then down these back roads, when you're not needing throttle, you have that cylinder deactivation mode, so it'll just go on four cylinders instead of six. Yeah, just a really comfortable ride. Almost a little too comfortable. Now, if I were, I'm really excited for the EV Blazer that's gonna come soon because I really think that'll hit a market that hasn't been targeted. Some people don't want a Model 3 or a Model Y. They want something that sits a little bigger and hopefully it'll do that because this is kind of along the lines of, I think a Ford Edge, maybe a, was that Toyota RAV4? Not necessarily a, a crossover, but like an actual small SUV not like a Mach-E or a Model Y, so. The space and just how these drive is really, really, it's one of the better driving vehicles, I think, in that class, so. On an EV platform, looking forward to that. Just curious. But all in all, this just rides really well in regular conditions. It does have quickness when you need it. And I mean, I think it's a good option if you're in the market for something like this. But with all that being said, this is going to bring me to an end of my review of the 2023 Chevrolet Blazer Premier all-wheel drive.